Hey everyone, Sean here and welcome to this review for the season 4 finale aka episode 8 which did have some interesting things outside of it a little bit uh, including the episode name right so uh, originally this was named assassination run but with the Trump uh, incident uh, with the Trump shooting um, that definitely uh, you know rock things a little bit so they definitely like you know took out the name and just called it the season four finale i believe so you know pretty straightforward name that's pretty much what it is and i think overall um i think they definitely ended it on a quite strong note though i think overall this season was quite lopsided it had some it, it definitely had good things but definitely had some pretty weak points uh in comparison to the other seasons uh, pretty, 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 pretty lopsided by nature, uh, really. You know, I, like especially with the whole Frenchie and even Kimiko thing, it's just like ah, eh, it, it was very, very uh, stretched thin. Um, the Frenchie thing also, I, I would say probably the weakest side story of all these side stories that uh, were present in uh, this season, because it pretty much. Um, like kind of repeats of uh, it, it pretty much repeats like what, what, what we kind of know already about Frenchie like yes he did these bad things he feels bad about it and it's kind of just like where is it thin and even with um, you know Colin like he just he was uh, kind of felt like he was shoot in overall to fill in that sort of drama um, you know involving with Frenchie so you know I guess Everyone had some sort of side story in this one, including, of course, Starlight. We had Huey, of course, with his dad, and then uh, Butcher, especially, M.M., of course. And then, you know, like, I guess they wanted everyone in the boys had to have some sort of drama going on. So um, they just decided to write this up for Frenchie. I hope, I'll, you know, it, Frenchie could have been, like, the only one that didn't have really anything going on. And um, I was hoping that, like, uh, he and Kimiko were, you know, you know, kind of like, you know, uh, uplifting each other and stuff like that. But they wrote this thing, and it just they didn't, it did not feel it stuck um, quite well throughout this whole season. Uh, this could have been resolved within, I don't know, two or at most three episodes, but they just stretched this out um, all the way to pretty much like what's a six, I believe. By the time, um, oh no, I'm sorry, seven. Yeah, because they, they, you know, they, uh, you know, finally talked it out and everything. So um, that definitely could have been cut by half. Definitely. So yeah. Uh, but yeah. So uh, episode eight by itself, though, um, was was one of the good ones, I would say. And I think uh, you could say it was the best one because it definitely had some bold things that happened in in the show. So I, I will go into the spoilers in a bit, but um, I definitely wanted to get this out of the way that, you know, uh, the action uh, was definitely there, but it was more of like uh, setting up these set pieces, you know, um, there wasn't, it, it, there wasn't like a, a big like fight scene like you, um, like you kind of saw in the last episode with that 2v2 and stuff, which was re re uh, pretty cool. Actually, let me correct myself. There were there were two fights technically, I guess you could say, but definitely one fight, and then there was a a second one with that action scene, uh, and that was like very very meaningful. Obviously, I don't want to spoil that spoil that particularly here, but um, you'll you'll probably know what I'm talking about. You know, it's very very um, uh, very very dividing. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Uh, but now, but, uh, unless you, oh yeah, I mean, the only set piece, there's only one fight, so, um, and, it, you know, it was, like, between Starlight and another individual, but, uh, anyway, there was a bit of, like, questionable things, you know, there, there, there were some questions raised and, uh, small little, uh, controversies came out of that, involving with, uh, you know, the power levels of certain soups and this and this and that. And uh, it was a little questionable, but maybe it does, you know, s establish some, some things that do pop up in this episode, which I'll definitely talk about in the spoiler section of things. But 
Uh, it is a little questionable at best, or at worst, maybe I should say. But overall, I think everything else made up for it, so I can kind of forgive it. Um, especially with what is being set up for, again, uh, Season 5. So, uh, if I were to really give it a rating, I think this is definitely, uh, I would say, I say a strong 8 once again. Um, definitely, some of the parts were a little questionable. Uh, especially with, like, what happened with Butcher and stuff like that. Um, and then what happens with Newman and all that stuff that other than that strong episode especially by the very very conclusion of it very very bold very strong it definitely sets up other characters um to be very very potent and very scary in that sense and uh, also sets up other characters to be it's like oh you know <laughs> so uh anyway 8 out of 10 pretty much for this episode but I think overall as a whole, um, I think definitely this will have to be around like a 7 just because of what was like a major, considered a major part of this, se of this season, which was like all those side stories, right? Um, most of the side stories were fine, uh, but really, again, I, I know, I, don't, uh, I hate to repeat, repeat this again, but the Frenchie thing is... You know, no, like I said, it was very much like stretched, it felt stretched thin. Uh, Colin felt very shooed in in that sense. And, you know, having to uh, watch the entirety of season three in between these episodes for season four made it worse for me because it's like, well, it didn't really like um, hint at anything for for uh for Frenchie that yeah he he's he he felt you know this bad or anything like that or he he thought about a particular individual you know after killing their family or whatever like that and um you know it it was just it, it seemed like you know Frenchie already already buried that sort of axe or hatchet and tried to help out um Kimiko as much as he could and then he has this little—he had this little arc with Nina, right? Which uh, you know, hey, I mean, wh wh where is that? Where is that person, right? Maybe in season five we'll see Nina again. You know, especially um, with the status of each of the characters, you know. So, anyways, um, that is pretty much the sort of basic gist of it, without spoiling things. I know I'm you know, kind of going around in circles a little bit, but. Uh, before uh, I go into spoilers, don't forget to like, like and subscribe. Really appreciate it, guys. And yeah, so I will go into spoilers now. So for those who want to stick around, thank you very much. And then uh, for those who want to watch the episode, go right ahead. It's pretty good. And can't wait for uh, season five. So uh, let's go into spoilers now. All right, so spoiler time. So I do have my notes out. Like I said, I'm pretty old school. Um, so the, the, some of these are kind of like out of order. So uh, you're, you're gonna have to excuse me for that. So, all right. So on one end, um, yes. So early on, Newman was pretty much revealed to be a soup, a soup in front of everyone. Like around the world, I guess, because she was on TV with Homelander and Firecracker. You know, it was it was a secret that Newman like worked so hard to you know keep under wraps for a very long time, and then Homelander just is like fuck it, you know, you're you, you know, um, he he you know because he felt like he was gonna be in such under control that he just like you know let it all out kind of thing, and uh, um, also. Basically, basically telling Newman that he is in control and everything. So, um, especially with the scene where Homelander uh, just straight up said, "Like Newman's just gonna be a puppet um, and do as I say. Otherwise, I'll p uh, mail pieces of pieces of your daughter uh, once every year or whatever like that." So that's you know pre pretty unhinged and fucked up to say the least. Though, unfortunately, later on, um, after Huey convinced Newman pretty much to join them, 
um, after you know pr pr pretty much like with that uh, Newman wanted out and uh, Huey and Newman talked on the phone um, they're pretty much gonna have uh, Newman join the boys pretty much and her daughter was there or joined along um, while that was a crazy plan thought uh, as the other members of the boys thought they just said hey fuck it that, that was the quote you know pretty much uh, for the show just just fuck it man you know not just for the boys I'd say for Homelander and the seven pretty much right but uh, speaking of the seven um, let's see uh, the seven were pretty much ordered by Homelander to to pretty much like like uh, kill off any like or tie up any loose ends or whatever uh, anyone who has some sort of like info on them that could be leaked they had to be killed and so um a lot of people were eliminated in the in the vault building including um ashley's assistant ashley uh very unfortunate but um with also the one of the writers it was like the two writers that always like the, that always was like pitching something to members of the seven it was the white guy or whatever. I forget, his, I forget his name. The black dude, I I don't uh, I have not seen him around. But maybe maybe presumably he either quit, was able to quit before, or he was already killed. So who knows? But uh, the white guy unfortunately ran into uh, the deep, and um, the deep made him like say all those things that he wanted to hear. Like you know, uh, oh deep, you're. Um, the biggest or the smartest genius or whatever blah, blah blah all those things and then for a second there he let him like he thought he thought was he was let off the hook but deep kind of, um deep was like you know um hey good enough for me and then boom just smash his face in you know and so that was just like one example of course and then uh noir uh, noir too uh killed off ashley <laughs> you know after uh, not before saying um, oh, you know, everyone's name is Ashley, right? You know, that's a very common name, I guess, to him. So, um, Deep was like, bro, once again, with the whole bro thing. Uh, Noir even had, even, even the, the new Noir had some sort of, uh, murder boner or something. He's like starting to catch on what Deep was saying or starting to understand what noir was going through as well that's why noir kind of stuck around even though he seemingly like had some morals right uh that we saw from season three but at the end of the day you know i guess he's a bad guy because he was addicted to well killing people right so kind of a um a psychopath i guess you could say in that sense so that was happening and then uh uh meanwhile while everyone else was being killed off in the in the in bot, Ashley uh, her overheard the seven that she was on top of the list, their shit list. So she went desperate and went into Homelander's uh, room, got the secret compartment of uh, Compound V, and pretty much injected herself with V. Like I I thought I did not see that coming, but Ashley did it. She pulled it off and. She started to uh, pretty much like mutate or whatever, so or change rather. So yeah, um, her not being a super, you know, throughout the, you know, se series um, has come to a halt. She is now going to be a soup of sorts, assuming that she survives. I think I think she I think she will. I mean, uh, for her to go out like that. Um, would be a little a little abrupt but anyway yeah i think i think she will come back as a soup a lot of people have been saying like oh she's gonna have uh it looks like her head was like getting a lot of the the changes so maybe like her she'll get grow her hair back and uh, she'll have like hair related powers so um kind of like uh sindel whatever or um any of those like hair uh, whipping uh, super villains or super superheroes, I guess you could say, anything like that. Um, I, I can't even like name a DC or Marvel superhero that uses their hair as their powers or whatever. 
But anyway, at least I haven't brought it on top of my head. Alright, so meanwhile, um, the, whatchamacall, um, oh yeah, so Frenchie was trying to get the virus out, uh, MM was telling to hurry up, but they had to, um, go protect the president-elect singer, and of course, me, um, this was all while, uh, Starlet was still kidnapped, therefore the shifter, right the shapeshifter um was assuming the identity of starlight and she pretty much was in the same room with singer and um huey and mm and stuff like that um but meanwhile uh frenchy and kimiko officially now kind of like tied the knot so to say like so now they're like really really into the relationship so they kissed like for real, finally, I guess. Um, I thought, see, I thought, um, I thought that they already did that, and having to look back on season three, that's now that's becoming a blurry memory again. But now they officially um, have like further like progressed in their relationship, and even like uh, Kimiko even told uh, Starlight through her t uh, through her phone later on, so it kind of like shows. Kimiko's like friendship with uh, Starlight, you know, they're kind of like um, uh, pretty much like close friends, right? In that in that sense. Uh, okay, so um, uh, I think I think this was the beginning of the the scene, I believe, or one of uh, one of the parts in the beginning. And Ryan walks in on Homelander because Homelander is just like he's just pissed. He was not having it. <clears throat> he was like losing a lot of things. He had to let go of Sage. Ryan walked out on the puppet show thing. You know, so it, a lot of things weren't going uh, Homelander's way. So he was throwing a fit of swords. He was just throwing that big old tantrum, destroying the room. And uh, Ryan was like, uh, you know, standing his ground. He he um, he wanted to not do that stuff. Even though Homelander, you know, previously said, hey, do whatever you want, do whatever you think it's right, that kind of thing. But Homelander just reverts back to his old self because he just cannot let, uh, let go of that part of the programming, right? That uh, even the, you know, the doctor said, you know, they successfully did. That was like their biggest success, quote unquote. That Homelander just, just cannot let go of the need of being... Uh, accepted or approved right he doesn't want to disappoint people so all that comes back to him again right from the last episode and then that carries on to here so he just like destroys a lot of things in the room um and ryan runs away right and ryan uh pretty much was able to um meet up with butcher as we see Butcher in the hospital bed because he um, collapsed due to the uh, cancer. And he is like meeting pretty much like almost to the end of his rope, right? Um, Kessler is just right on his back pretty much, you know, his the guy in his, uh, in his head. Um, and Grace enters the scene they um, are trying to proceed with the plan, right? With, you know, trying to have Ryan be the one to take out Homelander. Because, well, yeah, obviously, uh, Ryan is pretty strong, too. Um, and uh, that all kind of went, uh, that, 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 that hit the fan. But, it, but before that, hitting the fan, Butcher called uh, Huey. And um, Butcher pretty much like told him like not to do anything or don't make any deals with anyone, you know, um, don't make any like alliances or anything like that. Which later on he, he we, you know, broke that promise or whatever. Uh, I think Butcher even like told him to like go like to some steakhouse or something like that or something like that. I, I don't know. I think he like tried to tell him to like run away or something so that he uh, to protect him essentially, because. Um, Butcher still sees his, like, little brother in, like, Huey, so, um, 
he wanted to uh, protect Huey as much as he could, given his uh, current status. And then, okay, and, and then, yes, uh, Ryan comes in, Grace is there. Uh, Grace kind of has, like, a bit of a reunion with Ryan. Um, but then Grace started to um, become desperate, right, to uh, see this plan be a success. Uh, because Homelander is just that much more dangerous now. You know, stuff is going on, right? Something, you know, stuff, stuff, more and more stuff is brewing. And um, Grace was telling Ryan, right, uh, that he pretty much like um, is sort of is is this is this like sort of ba um, bastard child kind of thing, because um, you know, because she just straight up told him like Homelander raped um becca they they never had you know uh a, a consenting relationship of sorts um you know butcher was becca's husband but homelander you know um homelander um you know put a put his foot in that relationship pretty much uh, Ryan is that sort of product of a, in a Ill illegitimate relationship, and uh, Ryan was just like in that panic mode or whatever. Like, why you know, uh, why are you telling me all this? And then, you know, um, uh, it, it, and it was to be to desperately try to make Ryan be on their side, right? It, and when Ryan was like, I like it up there, you know, in the tower, it's comfortable, blah blah blah, and Butcher even said like, hey, you know, if Wherever you want to go, if you feel comfortable there, then that's where you want to go at first. But um, but then later on, Butcher's like, sorry, you got to stay here, um, blah, blah, blah. And then Grace then uh, was telling Ryan that you got to take out Homelander. You got to take out, you know, yeah, obviously that's his father. And Ryan doesn't want to do that, but, you know, he's the only one who can do that. He's He is the key. And Ryan... Um, you know, obviously, kept saying like you know he doesn't want to be their weapon. Um, essentially, he doesn't want to go through what Homelander potentially went through, right? Um, and Grace was really willing to go pretty far to see this plan go through, right? By uh, even having her hand right by the button, and Ryan told um, told her to get out of the way. Um, and Grace tried to like. Well, I'd say, I'd say the word, but gas up, right? Ryan by saying like, um, and guilt trip him by saying like, oh, you know, my um, I lost my grandchildren, you know, uh, and you know because of the the lamp ladder incident, and she um, says like, you know, Ryan is she sees Ryan as one of her grandchildren, kind of kind of thing. She. And, you know, he, he like, kind of uh, brings that sort of warmth, right, back into Grace's uh, cold heart. But Ryan uh, told her to get out of the way. She didn't. She resisted. And Ryan um, uh, went a little too far pushing her. And um, uh, she hits the wall, breaks her neck, and she dies. You, you can even see, like, the neck. And stuff. It's um, very unfortunate. I did not see that coming. I did not. I did not think Grace would die um, right then and there. I thought she. I thought she would at least um, last longer. But yeah, like I said, a lot of bold things happened in this uh, episode alone. So Grace is dead, unfortunately. Um, even after saying like, yeah, you know, Grace saw Ryan as one of her own, kind of thing. In that moment. Butcher um, snaps because of the whole soup thing, right? He his hatred for soups rises up once again, and he is dying. So um, that sort of like that desperate mode kicks in, and um, he accepts Kessler now. So uh, that could mean something, right, to his um, sort of stat uh, status or state. But we'll get to that later on. Um, and then, um, there was that fight, right? Meanwhile, um, in the uh, bunker or whatever, the underground, 
singer um, was playing golf and um, uh, Huey finds out that the shifter or the assassin is Starlight or Starlight is the shifter or whatever because of the profuse sweating and then the thing that she said she gave herself away oh it's like a furnace in here you know uh, which is the exact same thing that she said back when she was found by Butcher, Starlight, and Huey back in that apartment was found and then um uh, whatchamacallit um she pretty much like uh start you know or she she uh what do you call it? ah fuck so eventually the fight uh breaks out um she's been had so she just goes at it um killing a lot of the bodyguards they try to take singer through uh uh, further down protecting him and then uh, Kimiko tries to fight um, the assassin or whatever uh, pretty much like you know breaks her neck or whatever not killing her but yeah putting her out for a while and then um, meanwhile right there was that long scene with uh, before that there was a after uh, what's call called um uh, oh yeah the, the the fake starlight right proposes to Huey of course when Huey was still unbeknownst right um that uh part was like oh ooh that's uh kind of painful right they put a ring on it uh unfortunately and uh, uh me and then uh, the shifter t tells Starlight exactly what happened. So obviously that really pisses her off. And Starlight, um, like just went just crazy mode, right? She just w just willing to do anything to get out of those cuffs. So she actually like um, rips parts of her skin off, like just actually just goes through like this, the handcuff. Oh gosh, but um, you know she's a soup, so she has some sort of healing ability, I guess, but not as good as someone like Kimiko. It seems like Kimiko definitely, have, out of all the known or like named uh, soups or major soups anyway, definitely has the best healing ability. Maybe besides Homelander, but that's pretty much um like her best trait as a soup. Is a crazy, crazy uh, healing ability, you know. But anyway, um, so yes, yeah, she rips out of the, the handcuffs. Was eventually able to meet up with um, Huey and the others, telling Huey to like go, just go, right? Then um, Starlight, um, you know, fights the fight, um, fights the the shifter. Eventually wins. Although the chokehold was like, eh, whatever, but, eh, I mean, whatever, it's, it's, it's a show, so. Um, she should have, they, they should have uh, had her do the correct hold, because this, right, is not going to do as well. It's not as efficient as an actual, he um, uh, what do you call it? Chokehold, right? Rear na oh, the rear naked chokehold, right? They should have had her do do this instead of of this. This is like a more typical like chokehold or whatever, like a headlock. Um, not as efficient as this. But anyway, that would have been kind of cool. But again, whatever. Um, so yeah, she's dead. The shifter is dead. Um, and then Huey and Starlight. Try to like talk it out, but obviously, so I was not happy to see what happened with Huey, right? Um, but you know, hey, it couldn't be helped because the shifter is pretty good at that, right? Until a few key things, right? With like the car keys, and then some of the thing, other things like the dress, and I guess, um, 
maybe something about her grandparents or something like that. But the biggest giveaway, I guess, or the last straw was the sweating profusely and the furnace comment. Uh, so, <laughs> but, but, uh, later on, I guess that relationship is mended, but Sarah is like, you are getting tested after all this is done for every disease, you know, whatever, blah, 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 because I'm not putting that, I'm not putting my lips on you until you're, you're properly tested or whatever. And then he was even like, he's like, yes, <laughs> or whatever, <laughs> be like, fuck yes. It's so, so weird, but funny. Anyway, um, so I, so that's done. Um, so pretty much, uh, oh yeah, so the assassinate assassination, um, is uh, thwarted, right? Um, and then Homelander finds out. I I think. Right. Um, well, at some point, okay. So Homeland, there was a scene with Homelander talking right about the loose ends uh, that he wanted to be taken care of, right? With the seven, he had that meeting, right? And then we see Firecracker. We start to notice, like throughout the first half, that Firecracker is sick. She's starting to get sick from her medicate, all that medication for her to be able to lactate, right? It's starting to take a toll on her, right? You know, even like in that, in that, you know, that infamous scene now, right? From the last episode, um, she said, she made it obvious that it, it, something's gonna happen to her, right? With the whole, uh, oh, the, uh, the, the slightly enlarged heart thing, you know? She, uh, um, it's starting to show effects of that happening. And her eyes are starting to like, or the, she's starting to have those circles around her eyes, not looking good, coughing. And so like Homelander's like, ugh, right? Like, oh, you know, doesn't want to want to drink the, the breast milk anymore. Thinking that she's sick or whatever, he's going to, he's going to get what she has. But it's, it's related to her, the drugs, it's not, so, not something viral or anything like that. Um, but still it's like, you know. Can't help it, right? Homelander can't help but be like, be like, ugh, like, kind of be a, um, um, what do you call it? paranoid, right? Paranoia, right? Which um, is kind of funny. So yeah, Firecracker, um, it's starting to lose her ground. She's starting to lose traction, right? Especially with um, Sage later on. Um, so she 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 is definitely going to die at, at some point. Definitely. If Ashley doesn't kill uh, Firecracker, Firecracker is gonna kill Firecracker. She's gonna she she's gonna be her own demise, right? Pretty much. You know, she went too far to uh, try to please a uh, Homelander, and, and it like, yeah, it, it got her a little farther, but it's definitely not worth the price, right? Anyway, um, and then uh, as, okay, so at some point. Huey and Newman talk because of the whole thing with Homelander, like, revealing her soup status, and then uh, Homelander then uh, just straight up told her, like, you're, you're a fucking puppet, if you don't do what I say, your daughter will be chopped into pieces, blah, blah, blah. like, you, you know, uh, just do what you're told, right? Newman wanted out at that point, and, you know, the pieces are starting to come together, right, with um, the senator... I forget his name, but yeah, the senator, you know, um, ordering, uh, they're in it, they're, um, had, having that meeting in the Senate, and, uh, uh, pretty much, you know, again, Newman joined, joins the, the, the boys, right, she met up, met up with the boys along with her daughter, uh, at that point, Grace was dead, Butcher, quote unquote, snaps, or whatever, um, and then, so Butcher wanted to take things in his own hands now. And then Butcher comes back to the headquarters or whatever, the, the place, uh, sees the boys making de a deal with Newman, 
who is like very powerful, very dangerous, right, as a soup. And of course, um, by that point, Butcher just does not trust most soups, if not every every soup again, once again. And reveals um, what's been going on, right, with uh, the whole V, the temp V cancer thing. So, I thought as much. I'm I'm pretty sure a lot of people did. The rabbit was a huge hint, right, with the tentacles and everything. And so, Butcher got the tentacles, right? So, he unleashes the tentacles um, and has them attack Newman by holding her up. Uh, her daughter tried to stop him, but just slaps her. Um, other tentacles were holding Kimiko and Starlight in place. Everyone else couldn't fight, of course. Right, they're like pointing at right at the the female soups, and Butcher does the thing. Right, he um, was able to rip the shit out of uh, Newman, thus killing her. See, I thought um, there was that going to be that moment where you thought Newman was dead, but then she her um, her halves will come together and regenerate. But again, but uh, like I said. Kimiko is the only one who can kind of do that. She can like regrow her hand and like uh, snap her head head back into place. Like she's like nearly unstoppable, right? She's not as strong, but nearly unstoppable when it comes to uh, durability. Though she has to suffer for it, but yeah. Um, like wow, I was like a lot. A lot of this, a lot of these episodes had me shocked. I was like, wow, no way. I did not think Newman will die right then and there. Like, right at the end of season four. Like, damn. That's... That's fucked. Right? Um... It's... I mean... <laughs> like, you would think... I, I, I would have... I, 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 I actually really thought that Newman... I mean, I'm still like... I'm still like Processing, processing that fact, as you can tell, that Newman is killed, like just like that. Like, she was such a powerful soup, right? Like, pops people's heads. Like, you would think that she would be able to, like, at least try to pop um, Butcher, but you know, uh, maybe she wasn't focused, she wasn't like prepared for it. But she's been like, uh, she fought that dude in the alley and was able to kill him off eventually. Um, but yeah, you know, yeah, of course, like he covered um, her eyes, right, with the tentacle and everything. But that you know, like there could have been that moment where she could have tried to at least fight back, but no, like he just was able to get the tentacles out and then take her up in the air pretty easily. I probably have to like watch that watch that back again, but. Um, maybe this, maybe that tells, like, maybe because of what's going on in his body now, like, um, he doesn't have, like, the right type of blood anymore for Newman to manipulate, because her powers come from the, uh, controlling of blood, or, um, hemo, what's it called, like, hemokinesis or something like that, hemokinetics. Um, like, it's the same thing with Marie from Gen V. You know, she can control her blood. It's the same, pretty much same same principle with Newman, but except Newman uses her powers exclusively to pop people's heads. You know? Plus, she has un unbelievable durability. Right? She got punched in the face. She got shot, I think. Um, she got acid thrown on her. Like, nothing. Nothing, nothing uh, was stopping her. None of that stuff was about stopping her, but... Apparently she she can get ripped in half and that's it, you know. So I guess you could say yeah, Homelander definitely had the ability to just rip her into pieces, right, and end her right there, you know. Um, but also says something about Butcher, right? Like he maybe maybe yeah, like the tentacle thing that he has now that he fully accepts um, the sort of like that cancer, maybe he's like. 
stupid powerful, but at the same time, like the price he's paying is that well, it's a cancer, so it's obviously killing him, right? He's dying still, but because he fully accepted um, said cancer, it now it's um, uh, giving him the ability to live a little longer at least. Like his because um, when he was in the bed, he looked really unhealthy, but when he walked in, um, he, he his color came back, his, the color in his face came back, right? By that time. So Butcher, you know, is now pretty much powered by that cancer, funny enough. Is it really a cancer? I don't know. But uh, probably it's still killing him. It's, it's, a, it's like, a, like a parasite. And especially um, having to inject it with Compound V after the fact, right? Um, made it even stronger. So he's like, uber powerful at this point he has compound v in him but you know maybe the the cancer is what got the compound v not butcher so maybe maybe you know um uh, well and of course after killing newman right knocking out her daughter and then um and before he grabbed the virus away from Frenchie, because Frenchie had to put it, uh, put in the rifle, he took it, right? Um, he has now the virus in his hand. He, the only dose in his hands is uh, now with Butcher. Maybe, maybe I should save this for last, but um, he has other plans for that dose, let's just say. But, um during that process right of Newman dying the bodyguard that was with her um runs off and thus he is the leak that's how the world knew um Newman was dead and then Homelander sees the news and then Sage comes back surprisingly <laughs> she pretty much had most of the plans succeed this entire time um few curveballs like you said but um it, it's she still made it work she is happy because homelander gave her the opportunity right which is why she stuck around in the first place you know and i know and the fact that yeah she could she wanted to she comes back and pretty much like um tells him like you are you are the leader now you, you know your plan has succeeded right and you have a phone call and stuff like that um and pretty much like establishes herself like she she has she has his back you know because he gave her the opportunity so she feels like she owns that much to him and it's so funny, right? She had that notebook with her the entire time, like the the, the Queen Maeve notebook, um, which has apparently all her plans written in that book. The only thing she says that to to Homelander is like, just listen to her, you know, for next time. Yeah, you know, granted, she did keep some things away from Homelander, which he doesn't like, right? The secrets, but. Um, TLDR in that situation, she's back, right? And she is scarier than ever because, you know, she's smart. Her plan pretty much, like, mostly was a success, even with all the curveballs, right? Um, so the plan proceeds with um, Singer um, leaked as well. He's been had. Right, because he planned to assassinate uh, Newman because, you know, she's a soup, right? And, you know, of course, with the context and everything, like, misconstru misconstrued, he is under arrest and everything. They only knew that Newman was a soup, but she wasn't, they didn't know that she was a criminal. She was dangerous, right? They still don't know that you know she can pop people's heads and stuff like that um and yeah 
so um this is starting starting to become like the downfall right and so um everything goes to shit they lost the virus butcher is out and so the rest of the boys have to split up they got the passports and they go out their separate ways for now to different countries um Frenchie is with Kimiko, uh, Huey is with Starlight, and uh, MM is uh, alone, assumingly uh, going to uh, his wife and child, As uh, presuming, uh, assuming that he is, right? But as they thought they were going to make their escape, right, going to plan B or, or plan C or D or whatever, um, Homelander... Uh, uh, now has control of the White House um, after the successful coup and everything. Pretty much. We have, um, you know, the president, but Homelander is really the leader, right? And um, now it's become uh, a sort of like this fascist state, so to say, or fascist um, nation. Because it's um, very, you know, military forward, right? Uh, and with that, um, Homelander um, sends uh, squads of people, right, including soups and uh, military men alike, and uh, was able to track down all the the boys, right. Um, so with Frenchie and Kimiko uh, comes the appearance of Kate and Sam. I thought his name was Jonathan. I, for, for some reason, it's Sam. So forgive me for that uh, misnaming. Um, Sam is like super strong, right? Like um, uh, his brother, if not stronger, right? He, he's like super strong. Like um, probably nearly as strong as Homelander. We'll see. But yeah, Sam is um, holding Kimiko back. Right, super durable too, obviously too. All right, Kate controls Frenchie, tells him to go into the um, the the big big uh, truck, or whatever the van, um, big vehicle. Uh, Kimiko finally finally speaks right for the first time, um, like officially, pretty much right. It wasn't like an imagination thing. She was actually like speaking, saying like "no," which is like her, you know, the first. Unfortunately, her first words that we officially hear as Frenchie walked away. So, um, kind of, kind of cool that hey, I mean, at the end we got to see Kate and Sam do something, right? You know, from Gen B and all that stuff. Uh, MM unfortunately um, was captured by Love Sausage and his squad. Slap him with the dick and everything. <laughs> so very unfortunate for him. And then with uh, Huey and Starlight. But right before that, uh, Starlight got her powers back somehow. She, um, I guess like whatever was holding her back is overcome or overcame, overcome or stomped or whatever the hell. And uh, that stress, right, is gone, I guess. So she got her powers back, um, but unfortunately, they got um, they had there was like a big boat that crashed in between their uh, the street or the path, and um, uh, Huey gets captured, and then we see um, I think there was just one soup, or the two, but one of them uh, was the that. Um, Telekinesis girl from like season two or one or something like that. It was like way a while back, but I remember seeing her face. So I was like, oh shoot, that's kind of neat, right? Uh, she was about to like throw um, like some metal spike thing, but um, Starlight uh, was able to like use fully her power. So she flies like Iron Man and flies away and escapes. Um, so yeah, that, it was cool seeing her though. It was uh, kind of neat. Uh, nice little like callback on that, you know. Um, uh, let me see. So, um, 
yeah so that's pretty much everyone they got they all got captured by the end it felt like um like empire strikes back like you know like that it's the the down uh the lowest of the the lowest point for the boys and then hopefully by season uh, hopefully in season five that's like kind of like the the Je return of the jedi they come back they make they, they have their little comeback right but how are they going to do that that's definitely the question so that's definitely something to see uh, look forward to for season five um so that's pretty much it for the major like sort of spoiler points and all that stuff anyway so um yeah uh, quite a bit of the unpredictable stuff, you know, a lot of things I did not expect, like Newman dead and Grace dying, or dead as well, um, Ashley becoming a soup, right, so, there, there's gonna be a ragtag team assembled by Annie, right, so, Annie is obviously going to be leading this, like, rescue team, right, Along with A Train, A Train is the only other person that's missing. He's, I think, I get maybe, maybe, maybe with his family or something to protect them, to make sure they're okay. Um, and he has super speed, so you know, he he can be anywhere, um, pretty much uh, within, of course, the nation or whatever, the, the continent. Ashley um, just got her power, so who knows, right? Is she going to run away or? Um, is she going to, like, well, she has to, right? Because she, she's on the top of the shit list. So she has to run away with whatever ability she got. So maybe she's, like, swinging around with her hair or something. I don't know. Like Spider-Man. <laughs> um, I don't know, right? But it that, it would make sense, right? Now that she uh, actually has definitely a reason you know, to fight back the Seven or whatever probably going to fight against um someone like sage or the deep but uh i don't know it, it could either be Anne, annie or uh ashley fighting the deep maybe together I'm, I'm not sure um a train who knows right uh I, i'm sure a train is going to die um although i'm i'm, I'm glad to say that you know a train didn't die in this season. He's definitely um, going to be really cool in season five. Like I'm really looking forward to what A train is going to do. Now that he's like pretty much a good guy and going to be um, an ally of the boys. And Annie, right? Where is she gonna go? Right? Um, how is she gonna do things? And then, yes, meanwhile, Butcher, right? He has the last dose. Um, he's driving away, you know? He has Kessler on his side. Or rather, Kessler has Butcher on his side, right? So, what is he going to do with that virus, right? Um, do we know, like, is it that virus for um, that's going to work on Homelander? I don't think so, right? Because that's supposed to be, like, this super dangerous virus, right? And, and he still cares for Ryan, assumingly, right? So he can't use it because uh, it would have to be airborne for it to be effective on Homelander. Because, you know, like Sim, uh, Samir said, or Samis, Samir, um, Samir um, said that it, ha it would have to be a, this crazy, uber crazy uh, virus to even have a chance with Homelander. So uh, um, it would have to mean... It would have to just like it have to infect every other soup, including Ryan. So the so um, that I don't think that's going to do it. But maybe at least it'll do something to Homelander. Maybe it'll damage him a little bit. But um, uh, what you gonna call? Um, I think my my theory is that he is saving that for himself. Like whenever he's done what he could, he's going to use that himself because. Um, he already has compound V in, in himself and the the can the cancer, so he can use that as like a fail safe in, in case like the the cancer goes too crazy or something, and he'll he can like try to uh, inject it, or someone else will inject it into Butcher, or maybe maybe uh, maybe Ryan, maybe Ryan's the one to kill Butcher, and then Homelander can be killed by someone else. Who knows? Or, or. Um, Butcher kills Homelander, 
and then Ryan can kill Butcher, right? With with the virus or the yeah, with the virus, right? That's probably uh, one possible outcome. I mean, it could be a completely uh, completely different thing. Like what's been happening here? Like all the predictions I had were uh, have been mostly been de been debunked. You know. Um. So. That's um. Yeah. That's uh. That's. What I really, really strongly think what's going to happen with Butcher, I think he's he's saving that virus for, for himself, really. Because he knows, like, this cancer thing is dangerous, but he's in that mode where he's going to do everything uh, in his own hands to save Ryan. Because he made that promise to Becca. Uh, at least in the end, anyway. And then Cass is like, no, what are you doing? <laughs> you know. Um, so is there anything else I'm missing? Probably not really. Oh, um, yeah, the, the Gen V kids, right? Um, uh, with Marie, unfortunately, uh, Andre is not there. Um, they'll, they'll have to write him out somehow. Um, uh, I forget, I forget the, uh, the shrinking girl's name or rowing girl, right? Um, forgive me. And then there is uh, Jordan, right? Those kids, my, my, again, minus Andre, unfortunately. Um, those kids are going to have to play a, a role somehow, too, to team up with Starlight somehow, and the boys, right? So, uh, hopefully, 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 um, most of the boys will stay alive by the end of it, have their little happy ending or whatever. Um... I mean, probably, like, it, it. I think this is a point where it'll become like the comics, right? Like, maybe Kimiko and Frenchie will die together, like, you know, holding hands or whatever. And then maybe MM might die, I don't know. And then Butcher will die as well. Um, I think at one point, Butcher did become a villain in the comics. So I think they're, like, trying to, like, connect those dots and then, you know, even with, like, the poster that they released recently, it was, like, very, like, um, inspired by, um, you know, um, like, the, 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 the comic, right? So, um, except that Homelander is in the field, not the Butcher. So, I thought that looked pretty cool. But anyway, um... I think I think the deviation will become less and less of a thing and it'll like start now start to line up here, right? Um and then what will also happen is that Starlight and Huey are gonna be the ones who live along with Ryan, I guess. Maybe maybe um maybe they'll take in Ryan. Ryan will be their their son. And then along with, you know, wh whoever they conceive, right? Um that's like yeah foster brother or whatever right um i i think huey and starlight will definitely live butcher frenchy um kimiko and mm will, will have to go unfortunately i don't know somehow just like you know in the comics a-Train will die, unfortunately. Ashley will probably die, but probably die, like... Well, A-Train and Ashley will probably die, like, that heroic sacrifice thing. Uh, maybe maybe Ashley has a possibility of living? I don't know. It's hard to say, because she... Well, she, she, she is um, written for the show, so anything can go, really. A lot of those characters are written for the show, anyway. Um... Te technically, Huey is also written for the show. He's supposed to be um, Simon Pegg's character, which is funny, but yeah. Um, Simon Pegg, I think it was just Hugh, um, was in the comics, whereas Huey is technically like not in the comics. He was written for the show, and then 
he is the son of Hugh, you know, whatever. But anyway, I'm uh, I'm rambling on, um, and yeah, so uh, I think yeah, I, again, I think season five will like be the closest thing to the boys' comics because yeah, Butcher is like, you know, antagonistic. Um, he is pretty much another villain. Homelander is the other final boss. Sage is right up there. Um, Sage is the other like uh, character written in the, for the show. I mean, I'm sure she'll die, of course, but how? That's the big question here. Um, so yeah, that is it, pretty much it. So um, we'll see how that holds up. <laughs> well, uh, but we have to wait till 2026, likely because of what they said. Production will begin. Um, sometime this year, so it'll take a good, solid year, or even two, so, two, uh, one and a half-ish, um, so, I can definitely wait, there, I'm sure there's other shows to consume, stuff for me to catch up on, and stuff like that, but, again, a uh, pretty good conclusion, probably, like, I would say, the, quote-unquote, like, lowest season, the, uh, but even then, it wasn't that bad. Um, amongst like other TV series or streaming series, but within the boys' scope, probably the uh, my least "quote unquote" favorite um, season. My favorite season, I think it was like uh, like three or something, because that one had like Soldier Boy. Oh shoot, Soldier Boy! Yeah, that was the very last thing actually. Soldier Boy is gonna come in, so yeah, actually, yeah, that's gonna be, oh, that's gonna be a little hard. That's gonna like change up a lot of the theories, then, right? But yeah, who know, who knows what uh, will end Soldier Boy? You know, some say Queen Maeve might come back. It'd be a little weird, right? Because of what she went through. Um, if she comes back. I think she'll die too, because that's what happened in the comics. But, um, but that's even if she comes back at all, you know. That's, I mean, she'll make an appearance, of course. But I think she won't be like putting the compound V back and then like, you know, um, fighting alongside the boys or anything. But we'll see. I could be wrong. They, things have happened. Weirder things have happened, right, in the show. So, we'll see about that. We'll definitely see. By the way, thank you very much. What do you guys think? What are your predictions? If you want to put them down in the comment section below, right? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, yeah, really like this. Really like the series. Still, I definitely cannot wait for the final season. I'm pretty sure there will be some spin-offs, right? It's too popular to for Amazon to completely put down, right? While yes, the main series will go. I'm sure there will be some sort of spin-off series to an extent yeah we'll see maybe maybe with the deep i don't know maybe the deep will be the only one from the seven to live because i don't think uh yeah because deep lived in the comics right but he was a different kind of a different person i think i think he lived anyway we'll see we'll see again weird things have happened in the show um yeah Love to read those comments, anything like that. And yeah, so this has been my review slash spoiler talk for the season four finale of The Boys. I cannot wait for the final season. You know, things have, have to come to an end, but I think season five is a pretty good place to stop because it'll definitely over. Uh, I think I think I think by then it'll st overstate overstate its welcome. But hey, I mean, you never know. Thank you very much. And hope to see you all in the next episode. Sean out.